Hi folks, I'm continuing on with my video series. There's the, this video will show you where to find the computer in this truck. There's the steering wheel and the dash, and then you're underneath in the passenger area where your feet would kick. And uh, right up there, there's a panel with four screw, four little tiny screws that you're going to have to take out. And when that comes out, the ECM or the computer will fall out in your hand. It's got two connectors on it, a blue one and a red one. Uh, I can never remember what the numbering is, but uh, in my comments or uh, description of this video, you'll learn about whether the blue one or, or the red one has which wires in it. So read my comments and you'll understand what I'm saying there. There are Each connector has two rows of, uh, of wires. Each connector has probably 30 wires per connector. And uh, on the top of the connector, there's a clip that holds those wires into the connector. Be very careful when you remove the connector from the computer that you don't release that clip and have any of the wires pop out because that would, uh, that would not be a good day. So just watch for that. And um, on, that, uh, on, that connect on those connectors, there are grounds that are uh, to, to the computer from different sensors and parts of the chassis and engine block and all that stuff. Um, my comments state which pins those are, and there are also uh, two wires with 12 volts. One is permanent, and one is only there when the key is turned on, and uh, those two 12-volt lines would uh, actually verify that your fuses are good that feed the computer. So uh, one of my earlier videos talked about those fuses, but you can also test it this way. And um, let me see, the grounds. I had a bunch of dirty grounds, and I'll tell you where where to check them because they take a while to find. I don't even know if I found them all, but I certainly cleaned up the, any ones that I did find. Obviously, there's the, the battery common, right? That's your big one. The next one that you want to check is, and so that's your reference point. You put your ohm meter on, on that negative four of the ba battery and you probe everywhere else. The next one is right down near the bottom of the engine block where there's a big bolt right there, that cable right there, that's also ground, so that grounds your block to the, the battery. Next, if you take your battery out, take it right out, and the plate that the battery sits on, there are two uh, grounds in there, and uh, they're connected right to the, the you know, frame body work here that holds the, ra the radiator support. They were both corroded and uh, higher resistance on mine, so I cleaned both of those up. Uh, the next spot, if you take this air breather out right here on the driver's side, right along the radiator support, there's one in there as well, and that one also was corroded a bit, so I cleaned that one up. And uh, up on some of the newer GM, oh, and I also know there's the ground on the frame in the very back of this truck that uh, the fuel pump grounds to, and the lights and some other stuff. Um, I didn't go down there. My fuel pump wasn't the problem, so I didn't dig into it. But if you look along your frame, probably on the driver's side on newer Chevs and GMs, you might find some gra grounds there. In fact, my, uh, my friend has a 2001 S10, and uh, the fuel gauge reads all over the place when the, when the, ga when the fuel tank is getting near empty, and uh, we suspect a gr bad ground to the frame right underneath the driver's door. So that's the ECM and uh, the grounds. I'm not going to get into which wires in the ECM go to which sensors. Uh, you're getting pretty pretty serious there when you're in the diagnostic mode and you need to obtain a wiring diagram from a library or a local mechanic or something. Um, but uh, but that's, a, you know, that's a great way to determine if you've got a broken wire between any of your sensors and the computer. And uh, I certainly had to do that but uh, it's beyond the scope of what, uh, what I can provide on this YouTube video. Um, okay, so uh, I think that's it for now.